to you please. Hey there, this is T.U. I'm bringing you the fifth video in my life support series. As usual, it's been a little while since my last recording, and this footage is quite old now, so I'm going to do my best to give you a rundown of what's happening from memory. This was definitely a very fun playthrough, this whole series, and this mission in particular was a good example of some of the, the fun stuff you'll run into with a, a life support mod, like TAC life support, like I'm using it's a little bit of trial and error when you're playing with something like this, and the uh, my moon station needed some more supplies, so this was a a quick little mission with a cool little rover that you're going to see in a little while. You see I'm doing my transfer over to the moon, planning my, my deceleration burn, now I'm going to circularize, and so yeah, this the vehicle that you're about to see, the intent, it's going to be able to uh, deorbit itself. If I can remember to extend my my antenna in a second, which spoiler alert, I do not remember. Uh, it's going to deorbit itself and land relatively close to the station, and then drive the rest of the way. And the those there you see the two supply ports on the uh, the exterior will be detached from the vehicle using EVA construction. I've got an engineer on the station. And then the vehicle can be used to go and collect shipments from future missions. Like I can send another rocket without a rover. So save a little uh, weight, I guess, or efficiency. And I'm uh, going to deorbit the transfer stage. And now I've got the, the vehicle I'm trying to pinpoint its approach to the station. But I don't have to get it perfect because, again, this thing's got its own wheels. So like the rover design, I think it looks kind of cool. And I'm going to go ahead and drive it the rest of the way. You know, driving rovers on the surface can be a, a bit uh, of a trial and error. So in this case, you can see I'm, I'm not uh, I'm facing the wrong direction. I'm driving with my probe facing up instead of forward. And I don't know if I'm going to remember to fix that before the video is over. Also on surfaces, on, plan on, on planets and moons celestial bodies with uh, lower gravity you don't get a lot of traction and so you can kind of skim across the surface so you see i lost connectivity back to kerbin i'm on the dark side of the moon and i don't have a relay network set up so situations like this obviously the probe is just going to continue to drive until it, it runs out of momentum <laughs> and i'm gonna time warp i bet until it it, it gets to that until it gets to zero meters per second where I can get out of physics time warp and do a proper time warp to get me back to the bright side of the moon or the get me back to connectivity with, with Kerbin. Maybe something in orbit's going to circle back around and give me some connectivity. So, yeah, there you see. <laughs> the rover's just flying off. going to go and send a Kerbinaut. That's what I'm going to do. Instead of waiting for connectivity, a Kerbal can always give you control of the craft and there I'm, I'm using the uh, forward control point I think it defaulted to that because I put a Kerbal in the in the seat so I'm going to go ahead and park next to the station close enough for EVA construction and I'm going to pop those two parts onto the station and that should give me enough supplies for this mission on the moon to last a while longer especially when you're dealing with missions like I planned in my last video for EVE I don't want to be Hopping back and forth to the moon. So you see oxygen remaining and, and food and all that. So I won't, definitely wanted to add enough supplies so that my Kerbals on the moon can survive while I run another longer mission to EVE or you know other places like that. So I guess technically I could put on the spent resources <clears throat> if I were to send a resupply rocket to the surface. I could swap you know, spent ones with, with fresh ones using that rover. But, uh, yeah, that'll be an idea for another future mission, perhaps. Definitely wish this mod included modules to grow food and that sort of thing, but it's limited, so so be it. Well, getting to the end of the mission, I see now I've got food remaining for three years, so that was the whole point of this, and hopefully you guys see we'll see in future videos that I'll put that 
time to good use. So appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you again real soon.